Samsung just dropped one of those updates that feels less like a simple software tweak and more like a sneak peek into the company's future. And the craziest part, it didn't start with a flagship. Instead, it quietly began with two phones most people didn't even have on their radar, the Galaxy A26 and A36. That's where this story gets interesting because what Samsung is doing here could completely change the way we think about mid-range devices. Welcome back viewers, Sam here. Make sure to like this video, share it around, and subscribe to the channel for more of these deep dives into the latest Galaxy updates. Now let's break down why this move from Samsung is way more exciting than it seems. So here's the surprise, Samsung has already kicked off internal One UI 8 beta testing for the Galaxy A36. The very first beta package has quietly shown up on Samsung software servers, which means engineers are already testing and tweaking behind the scenes. On the surface, it might sound like just another update in progress, but the timing and the device make this special. The Galaxy A36 only just arrived with One UI 7 running on Android 15, and now it's preparing to leap into its first major OS upgrade. That kind of speed isn't typical for Samsung's mid-range phones, and it shows the company is taking software continuity more seriously than ever before. What makes this even bigger is Samsung's promise of five years of Android upgrades and five full years of security updates for the A36. That essentially locks in six versions of Android for a phone that isn't even a flagship. Think about that. Five years from now, most people who buy a mid-range phone today would have already moved on to something new, but Samsung is making sure this phone will still be running the latest software well into the future. In a world where budget phones often get left behind after just two years, this is game changing. But here's the real curveball, the Galaxy A26 5G. Nobody expected this phone to be part of Samsung's early One UI 8 testing, yet it popped up in fresh Geekbench results showing Android 16 paired with the new skin. The numbers aren't jaw dropping yet, 115 single core and 2824 multi-core. But remember, this is unfinished software. The real takeaway here isn't the performance, it's that Samsung is even testing it at all. The A26 was never part of the roadmap for fast, tracked updates, so this could mean one of two things. Either Samsung is quietly expanding its update strategy, or it's using the A26 as a sign that budget devices will now move in closer sync with flagships. Both possibilities are huge. And if that's not enough, the internal build for the A36 carries a PDA version ending in ZYE3. Sounds boring, right? But here's the catch. This version is strictly for internal testing, meaning Samsung engineers are still adjusting features and ironing out bugs before the public ever gets a taste. And the kicker, when registrations for the Samsung members beta program open next month, the version regular users get may look noticeably different. Samsung almost always tweaks its builds before going public, so the beta we eventually see could pack even more changes. That sense of mystery is part of what makes these early leaks so fascinating you never quite know which features will survive and which ones will vanish before the rollout. Now let's talk about one of the most underrated but shockingly cool upgrades in One UI 8 so far, the watermark. Normally, it's just a boring little text label stamped on your photos. But in the beta, Samsung has turned it into a secret upgrade for your camera. With the watermark enabled, the camera now automatically kicks in vivid mode. The difference is instant, photos look brighter, sharper, and almost professionally color corrected. It's like Samsung tucked in a bonus photo filter that you didn't even ask for, hidden behind a feature most people never used. And here's the kicker. This vivid watermark mode is currently being tested on the Galaxy S25 series and the Z Fold 7, but once polished, it could make its way down to the A series too. Imagine budget and mid-range users suddenly snapping pictures that look like they've been run through an editing app without lifting a finger. But that's just one part of the bigger picture. What we're really seeing here is Samsung slowly blurring the line between flagship and mid-range software experiences. Instead of keeping the coolest features locked to its most expensive phones, Samsung is sprinkling them across the lineup in ways that make even an affordable Galaxy feel fresh and premium. If One UI 8 lands smoothly on the A26 and A36, it'll signal that Samsung is no longer reserving stability and speed for the elite crowd. It's making them accessible to more people, and that could shift the entire market. Think about it, updates used to be the reason why people stuck to flagships. But if a budget phone can now get multiple Android versions, long-term security, and even exclusive features like vivid watermark mode, the value equation completely changes.
Suddenly, buying a cheaper Samsung doesn't mean you're locked out of the fun. It means you're just part of a longer game plan. And that's exactly the kind of strategy that could make people stick to Galaxy instead of jumping to cheaper Android alternatives. So where does this leave us? Right now, both the A26 and A36 are in the shadows of testing, but the pieces are coming together quickly. The Galaxy S25 series is still on track to get the first stable One UI 8 released this September, and once that's out, these mid-range phones might not be far behind. Whether or not Samsung confirms this officially, the signs are clear One UI 8 is expanding faster and wider than anyone expected. And if history is any guide, the final rollout will include more surprises than what we're seeing in these early betas. The real question is, what else is hiding in Samsung's labs? If a simple watermark upgrade can transform photos this much, imagine what other subtle features are waiting to be discovered. Samsung has a habit of dropping small, but addictive tweaks that change the feel of using your phone every single day, and One UI 8 looks like it's stacked with them. So, what do you think? Are Samsung's moves with the A26 and A36 just clever testing, or are we watching the start of a whole new strategy that finally brings budget phones closer to flagships? Let me know what you think in the comments and make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss the moment One UI 8 officially breaks cover.